This guy is going through a situation that I talk about all the time with you guys, which is burnout. And that is where you connect with a woman and right away you're talking about relationship and feelings and wanting to do things with her. And she may even agree to it. She may say to you, oh, yeah, let's get together. Let's be whatever. And then out of nowhere, it flames out. And you know what's funny? Even though, because as an individual guy, you're not going to see this pattern. As a guy that has studied this relentlessly, I've had it happen to me. I've had it happen to the guys that I coach. This is a pattern that women do time and time again that you need to be aware of. And this is a pattern that happens when you as a guy are unintentionally rushing things with a woman who seemingly agreed at first that she wanted to do that, right? So let's read through this. So he says in this situation, uh, I recently had my first success from a cold approach when he just walked up to a woman in public and said, hey, you know, we should go out sometime, whatever. Bravo for him for making that work because a lot of guys don't know how to do that. So he says, recently, this probably happened like a week or two ago, right? Recently, I had my first success from cold approach. Now, it seems that we are in a relationship. I kind of chose it also and enjoyed the intimacy and everything about it too. So what did he say right here? He says he chose the relationship. He chose to go to her and say, after just a couple of days of dating, hey, we should like totally be boyfriend and girlfriend. Ah, And again, he doesn't have the right training. So if you're a guy that doesn't have the right training, you're going to do this exact same thing. You're going to be thinking, well, I know Harry said that it takes two to three months, but we're already vibing really well. We already seemingly have a great connection. She seems different from all the other girls. And so I can totally, she has a good head on her shoulders. I could totally ask her for a relationship after a week or two, and she'll be totally fine with it because she's different. Guys, they are not different. I don't care if it's a woman that has like a PhD in how to date guys and what we're into. Two or three months. You do not lose points for making a woman wait two to three months to get in a relationship with you because that's what the majority of them need. If it was like, you know, even just 50% of women needed that, I would say, you know what? Head your best and try it out. But it's like 90% of women need two to three months to really further feel that they're making the right choice about you. The problem with doing it this early is she may agree to it, but she's not going to trust herself and she's going to start second guessing if she made the right decision should anything of any kind come up. If anything you say seems out of pocket or you do an action that looks weird, boom, because you're calling it a relationship now, she's going to be double backing and thinking, I don't know if I want to do this now versus if those same things came out, but you were just calling it a dating situation for the first two or three months, that would give her time to go home, sit with herself, think about what this means, but it doesn't mean breaking up with you, you know? But anyway, so he says, after, however, almost two weeks in now, there is a slight problem. My hookup drive is higher than hers. She is not living the most healthy lifestyle currently, lacks sleep, and therefore has some stress and physical slash mental exhaustion. Works 13 hours a day, barely sleeps for five hours, didn't have a day off for more than two weeks. So as a result, we hadn't hooked up in three or four days. Ooh. Now, I don't know about you guys. I, I've been in relationships where if pressed, we could hook up like all the time. I find I'm good for like three, maybe four times a week tops, you know? But if I say, if, if it's three or four days, so they didn't say like on a Sunday and then like maybe Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, that's still Friday and Saturday, you know, where, when it's the weekend when she's not at work. But this guy's already getting butthurt about, oh my God, it's been such a long time. Why is that? Because he's equating currently like her sexual prowess with like how much she likes him. And to be fair, that could totally be there, right? But also she's working a lot. So she's not getting a lot of sleep. Even with that, I have found that women that have had, that have a high interest in me, as butt tired as they may be, will still want to do something, even if they're like a short amount of time. Hey, I'm losing energy. I got like five minutes. Everybody always got five minutes, you know, get home right away, babe. I'm exhausted. If you want to just like, you know, lick me a little bit or do whatever, then we can just make it a short session. It is what it is. Or when we get up in the morning tomorrow, we can do some stuff, right? So this could be the reality that she's just too exhausted. Again, I've just personally found that women that like you will find a way to make a hookup of some kind happen, whether it's like you go all the way, you guys just touchy feel each other for a little bit, like something will happen, you know? But anyway, so he says, I tried initiating it maybe twice, but she is not really participating and is obviously tired. The last time was yesterday morning. I got silent, but visibly mad about it. And she noticed my behavior. Ooh. So think about this. They've been dating for two weeks now, right? I, I guess they've been boyfriend and girlfriend for like a week. And in that week's time, 
She's already seen him get frustrated because he couldn't get his way about a hookup. She, he's getting mad about it visibly. And now they're talking about. So now they, he went from whatever, whatever version of himself that he was when he walked up to this girl's the code approach, you know, probably like the fun, jovial, hey, what's up? You're so cute. Bubba, should me out some time. Now he's into, we need to talk about a serious topic about how we're not hooking up and you're working these hours and blah, 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 blah. It is week two. In week two, you should still be in the honeymoon phase. She's probably thinking we should still be having a fun, jovial time. But now what's happening? They're seeing each other every day in a row, two weeks straight. And now they're not hooking up as, as often because she's tired. And also because, unbeknownst to him, she's seeing him too much. And this is an example of a thing that women aren't going to be able to explain to you because it doesn't make rational sense to them. I clearly like the guy. Why don't I want to see him? And it's because women need time away from you to feel more things for you. As they see you more back to back, you are not giving their brain time to think about you. And therefore, it's what? It's becoming a forced thing. She's starting to feel forced to have to spend time with this guy. She's starting to have to feel forced to hook up with this guy. And her body is going to just subconsciously be like, nope. It's not our choice now. I don't want to do it. Versus if he was like leaning back a little bit, not being so extra and so serious about why are we hooking up or whatever, it would come back. But also, also, if he would just only see her once or twice a week in the beginning, this wouldn't be a problem because he'd be able to see her once, like on a Friday or Saturday, have a great time with her, and then she can go work the rest of the week and he'll see her next Friday or Saturday. But is he doing that? No. What's he doing? We see each other every day. I don't know why she's tired, blah, 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 because she's trying to juggle a job and trying to see you and not hurt your feelings, but she doesn't want to hook up because she's tired and also because her body's subconscious. Like, it's all this stuff, right? But again, he doesn't know this. If you want to know this, go to the website, sign up for coaching. So then he says, we talked about this and she explained that even if she wants, she doesn't have the energy for it. I told her that this is my nature. She is tempting me. And it's not normal that I have, or, and sorry, and it's normal that I have a desire. He says, in the early days when we hooked up, it was great for both sides. She says she orgasmed two or three times each time. She seems to like me physically and at all other levels, and this is mutual. But one thing I don't understand, how she had the energy to whine and complain. <laughs> oh, God. How does she have the energy to whine and complain but not to hook up? Well, because one is talking and one is like her body being pounded on. I know as a guy, like I, I've been explaining to women, that, uh, you know, we, we try to get to like the 10 minute mark, but the, the, not, the amount of thrusting and that takes and how, many, how much pelvic movement that takes, it is a huge exercise. Well, women are having to like get wet down there and then open up to take us in, to feel us pound on them in various angles. It is also an exercise for them. But here's the more to the point, right? Is that again, she, she, he's saying she, she orgasmed two or three times when they were hooking up. The problem is that was when he was new stimuli, when she wasn't seeing him every day. Now that she's seeing him every single day and they're not at the point where like, it's been two or three months. So now she's not completely sure about him on top of the work stuff. It's also a thing where she's feeling like she feels an obligation now to do it. And the worst thing a woman could feel is an obligation. I have to hook up with him. Because then the going to be like, I got to do that if I don't want to. And then she's going to back off, you know? But again, he doesn't understand this. So then he says, um, do, 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 see, see, okay. Uh, the first night this happened, I straight up told her at one point, you were sleepy, right? Then she shut up and felt, felt asleep. I think about looking for hookups elsewhere, but I am not sure if this would be a stupid decision because other than that, I really like this woman. She is rare and we have a lot in common. Guys, do yourself a favor. Please, please, please stop calling women that you've gone on one or two dates with rare, all right? The reality is the majority of women are gonna be the same. Even the ones that are actually sane are still gonna have processes that are similar to other women in terms of how they think about things, how they feel about things, and their lens of the world. And guess what, guy? It takes time to figure that out. It takes more than one or two dates. I get it. As guys, we, we are trained to analyze things fast. We assume that our assumption about the women that we're dating are accurate after one or two dates because our brains are designed to analyze things. But you are not getting a full picture of a woman after two or three dates, and like eight hours of connecting. You're not getting a full picture of a woman after a couple of hookups. We get fooled by that. We think because she was a good hookup. Oh, see, 
somebody explained once, I think it might have been Corey Wayne, somebody, I think somebody explained where it's like, you know, we we feel an emotion about a thing and then we use logic to justify it. I think that, that is Corey Wayne. So I'm directly taking that from him. Um, but yeah, and that's what we do. We hook up with a woman, we have all these feelings, and now we have to justify to ourselves that the person we hooked up with was a good decision. And so therefore, oh, that hookup was so great. You know what? She's one of the rare ones. No, she's not. Like, even when I have gelled with and have been in long-term relationships with, I still view them as you are still the exact same as any other woman. You may act a little better. You may have more knowledge of men, but I still operate on you're probably like most women. And you know what? That's fine because I think women should be viewing us as like most men are like most men. They need to be careful around us in the beginning because they don't know for sure if we're going to, you know, have, you know, be mad at them or upset or, you know, lash out at them in some kind of way that could hurt them. Like we ought to be on our, our mindful that the people in front of us could very well act stereotypically the way that we expect them to. And that's totally fine, you know? So, but I said to say, you thinking a woman is rare is putting her on a pedestal and that's even going to mess up your game more because women don't want to be on a pedestal. It makes them be the ones that feel like they're wearing the pants in the relationship. Women don't want to have that much pressure. So stop doing that. Anyway, so he says, what do you think? Should I give it some more time? Is it no blah, blah? So that part, anyway, so after all that, he left an update and the update is exactly what I thought it was before I read it. I'll read it to you. Update. So he wrote this, this thing, uh, he says, maybe yesterday around 2 p.m. Then scheduled a meetup with her later that night because I felt a negative tension, which he's causing a negative tension between us and wanted to talk it out. So we're now having like the third or fourth serious conversation about this topic, and they've been dating two weeks. Does this feel fun to a woman? A woman who's just trying to have a good time. She goes to work all week long and she wants to relax on the weekends with this guy, but he wants to see her every day, wants to hook up every day, wants to not give her a break every day and can't figure out why it is that she does not want to hook up with him. So he says he wants to talk it out. So he did. I told her, <laughs> I wish I had like a small violin playing. I told her that sexual intimacy is important for me as much as emotional empathy, <laughs> as much as emotional intimacy is important to her. I'm not, I'm not trying, I don't want you guys to think I'm coming off like sarcastic or laughing at this guy. I used to be this guy that would want to have these conversations and be like, oh, we should talk about like, you don't, you're not seeming like you used to. And we used to hang out as friends and now you're ignoring me. I was this guy. So part of me is when I see this, I'm just like, oh God, that used to be me. And also I'm like this, I know from this experience, this will get this guy nowhere with this woman. All right. So then he says, and that being rejected twice felt awful. I tried to find the real issue, trying to dig deep now, guys, but it seems that she is just in a rough period of her life and she is basically a mess with low emotional intelligence. And I don't mean to paint her badly. In fact, I would like things to work out, but this is just effed up. So he's trying to assign all this stuff to her because this is what we do, guys. We see a situation like, okay, I need to now psychoanalyze her and figure out what the real deal is. Oh, well, you know, she has low emotional intelligence and she's busy and she's going through a rough period and blah, 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 blah. So of course this is like, like don't try to logic your way into thinking about why it is a woman's acting a certain way. Just know that she's acting that way because you're doing some stuff that is turning her off. Figure out what that is and stop blaming her and you'll be able to figure out how to turn this ship around. Did this guy do that? He did not. So. He says, so at the end, we parted ways. I missed my transport. I just trained whatever, and then called her. On the phone, she told me that she can't fulfill my needs and confirm that it's probably best not to see each other again. I, I, I saw that coming before I read the paragraph. I feel quite disappointed because for the first 10 days, <laughs> sorry, for the first 10 days, this was the best experience with the woman I ever had. It was pure and it had everything. But now if it's true that this was all a play and there were no, there was no real love involved, that would be so stupid. So anyway, says I'm in the mood again for cold approaching, but we happen to hear some side. So again, so again, look, this guy's assuming the thing that all guys assume when this kind of stuff happens, which is, oh, she must've never had real feelings for me. I feel some kind of way about that. Guys, I keep trying to tell you guys, Women can have all the feelings for you, but that does not matter, one, if you're trying to ask her to have more feelings when she's ready, but two, if you're trying to ask her to feel certain things at a point in time when she's not ready for it, you know? And when you are coming across as a guy that is already super duper serious and trying to see her all the time and getting butt hurt when she can't respond to you for a day, and it's only, this guy dated her for 10 days. So for 10 long, excruciating days, this guy was simping hard, 
and wasn't able to see it. And was probably like, she probably come from work and say, hey, I can't see you today. No, you got to see each other. Ah, all right. Like he was doing all the things that caused her to go away. And he's not being able to see that because, again, we get so stuck on a lot of men already have the viewpoint of women are trying to get over on me. They're trying to play me for a fool. They just want my attention. When you date with that lens and then you go out and you do things that are un unknown to you, you're doing the wrong things. You're not thinking I'm doing the wrong things. You're thinking this is exactly what my confirmation bias is showing, that these women are going to just try to use me and blah, blah, blah. And then you end up getting results like that, where it's like that woman probably would have been in a relationship with him if A, he had not been the one to ask for the relationship, B, he wouldn't have asked for it so freaking soon, and C, he wasn't trying to contact her and be around her all the time. Again, a woman, your, your best friend in a dating situation is a woman's brain that's going to help her think about you when you're not there. But in order for that to happen, you have to not be there. And if you're always there, she cannot think that, and she will start to lose interest fast, and it will burn out, and she will not want to date you. So even if you're feeling all the feels for a woman, again, your feelings do not matter. What matters is where she's at in her feelings journey. Let her go through the natural experience of what that is for her to be able to naturally feel things for you versus thinking, I met a great woman on date one. I got to snatch up and wife right away. More often than not, that's not going to work out in your favor. You know? <laughs> Somebody said, agreed. He was simping quickly. And here's the thing. He's not going to see that he was simping. He's going to do what every other guy does, which because I, I have guys on my channel that come to my channel and say this. Well, if I, I'm just trying to be my natural self and I'm not trying to play games and I'm trying to be honest, but your version of being natural and your version of being honest more often than not is going to clash with what her definition of that is. Her definition of a dating going natural is taking time to get to know each other. The problem men have is we think after two dates, we know a girl. And therefore, because she said she wants to, us to get to know each other before we say anything, we're thinking, well, I got to be honest with her. It's been two dates. I already feel things. And so I'm going to tell her. And that is not what's working for her. So because they take longer, then in terms of getting to a relationship, you have to go on their timeline. Because here's the thing. Again, you don't lose points for waiting a little bit longer. Guy, if she likes you, she's not going anywhere. So if that means you go on a date and don't talk to her for three or four days, I know it's nerve wracking. There's a point in time where I cannot do that. I'd want to text her the next day. I'd want to give the next good morning text. But I found that that was not working in my favor. I found, found that waiting a little bit of time and, and delaying gratification so that way she can go through the feeling journey that she needs to go through to be able to trust me, to be able to see consistency from me, worked a lot better in my favor. But again, I'm in my 40s. I've been able to experience this happening a lot. If you're a guy that's watching this in your like 20s or 30s or just have not had a lot of girlfriends over your life, you may not have been able to experience that or feel that. So I get it. Me saying it to you is going to feel like that's, that's much malarkey what he's talking about. But if what you're doing right now is not working, then it behooves you to try something different. I would start with being a bit more patient and seeing what that gets you. You's a bad boy, but you can't stop, won't stop. Let's you are go. high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high earning, high value, high class man. You are high class man. You are high class man. <laughs>